Mbunge inajadiliwa mswada ama bill ambayo inasimamia haya mambo ya housing. Tunaelewana? Sasa tunataka kutuma ujumbe kwa wabunge wetu huko bunge. Hapa kwa hii kiwanja tuko na vijana wanafanya kazi ni kweli ama si kweli? Tuko na vijana 1130 Kenya wanafanya kazi saa hizi nikiongea hapa. Hiyo mjadala ikiendelea kule bunge kuna vijana 1130 Kenya mzima wanafanya kazi katika program ya housing. Tunataka kuchuma ujumbe kule bunge ya kwamba wakiendelea na hiyo mjadala wajue ya kwamba vijana wange, wa Kenya wanawangojea kujua ni kazi gani watafanya ndio hii program iweze kusonga mbele tuweze kuajiri vijana 1300 kufika mwisho wa mwaka huu. Kwa hivyo mimi nataka niwaeleze wabunge you have the choice to make because this is not about parties. This is not about this side versus the other side. This is not about those who have versus those who don't. This is about the employment, the job opportunities for millions of young people in Kenya. People who work in our steel manufacturing factories, those who work in our cement manufacturing uh, factories, the plumbers, the electricians, the engineers, the, plan, uh, the, the painters, the steel fixers, all of them put together, 120, 130,000 of them, they are waiting for the outcome of what is going on in parliament. Na mimi nataka ni waulize wabunge wa Kenya, wakikishe ya kwamba wamepitisha hiyo sheria ndio vijana wa Kenya. For the first time, wawe na mpango ambayo itawapatia ajira vijana wetu wapate nafasi ya kuchangia katika kupeleka taifa letu la Kenya mbele. Ama mnasemaje watu wa Kandara? Hiyo maneno ya bunge ipite ama waangushe? Wapitishe ama waangushe? Wale wanasema wapitishe tuone kwa public participation hapa. Bas hiyo maneno ifikishwe bunge waambiwe wa Kenya wamesema hiyo program wanataka ipite by this evening. Tumeelewana jameni? Tuko pamoja? Hiyo tu ndio koti ilisema. Koti ilisema endeni ipitishe sheria. So tunapitisha sheria alafu tunaendelea na kazi. Tumekubaliana? Hapa tuko na mtu anaitwa Kangata wa barua.